here is a very simple deer feeder that I made. Um, we got about a 42 inch piece of sewer and drain 6 inch PVC pipe and um, a 6 inch sewer and drain cap. And um, basically all I did was uh, cut it, put a cap on there, didn't even, you know, didn't glue it on or nothing like that. Just take the cap off, fill it up with corn. And um, on the bottom there, um, I actually took the spray can and put it halfway on the outside of the pipe and traced it out with a marker and just cut three notches. Um, three notches. I didn't cut one, you know, towards a tree, uh, that wouldn't make any sense, but cut three notches out, and then, um, all you gotta do is, I put some wire, it's like a stainless steel wire, and, uh, just kind of put it around a tree, and, um, tighten it down, it's not, it's not, it's not going anywhere, uh, take the cap off. There you go, and you got uh, plenty of corn in there. That'll feed all your wildlife. You know, very simple. I had these uh, pipes laying around, actually. I think I paid a dollar for them um, a, quite a while back. Uh, they were like, let's see, 12 foot pipe, I think. And I had them laying around the house. I said, you know what, I'll make a deer feeder out of them. So, uh, very inexpensive. Even if you were to go buy the stuff, uh, it probably wouldn't cost much at all. I've seen people do the deer feeders that have the Y on the bottom. And um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, that one fitting, that big 6-inch Y fitting, it's about $22 at Lowe's or Home Depot. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm perfectly fine with my corn being on the ground. Uh, $22. I guess you could say I'm a cheap guy, but whatever. Uh, I'm not paying $22 for a while. But anyways, that's my uh, deer feeder. Um, I think it's going to work out really well. And um, very easy, simple design. Nothing to it at all.